School, football, homework. It's a lot being a student here at Loyola, but for Biafra and Brian, it's a whole lot more. Let's start with football. Biafra, a talented running back, and Brian, a standout on the line. But it's where these two stand out off the field that's so impressive. Brian, along with his classmate Casey, started the Loyola Patriots Club, a way to show support for those troops who protect this country. We really just wanted a way to support the troops. We wanted to recognize their sacrifice and everything that they do for us. So we came up with the idea and just started it. Basically, we just wanted to recognize what the troops do. Uh, I know oftentimes they don't get enough attention and, and recognition for what they do. So we all wanted to come together, get everybody uh, on support of, of the troops, and we wanted to do something, do something good. And good is what they are doing. They organized the football team to meet the troops at BWI on Veterans Day. Mu Palooza raised three thousand dollars for the Wounded Warrior Project. Cell phones for the soldiers. They also raised a record number of wreaths for wreaths across America. And for Senior Day, honored all the Loyola military family, putting on their first salute to service. They are definitely leaders here. Um, and throughout the last two years working with them, they've really have taken this club. It's grown and it's been really successful over the last two years. It's just a, I think a rewarding experience for us just overall, just seeing the impact that we can have. Also making a big impact is Biafra, the winner of Loyola's highest award, the Daniel McNeil Scholarship, which embodies the thinking of others first, academic excellence, engaged in community, and most of all, a man for others. I was truly honored and blessed to receive the award. Everyone's talked so highly of him. They said Amanda died 9-11 in the World Trade Center. Said that he put 100% in his works, his faith, his deeds. He gave to others before himself. An exemplary Don, a true man for others. He didn't think about himself really. And they said that while he was here, they called it the age of McNeilism. <laughs> That's how great a man this guy was. Biafra's a wonderful kid. He's got a smile a mile wide. Uh, he's a pleasure to be around. He's a hardworking individual in the classroom and on the football field. And uh, he's a Don of which we are most proud. They were also proud of him winning the National Security Language Initiative, sponsored by the State Department, where he spent six weeks in Morocco learning Arabic. A loyal Adon is somebody who puts others before himself, a man for others. You, you're going to hear that a lot, it's overused a lot, but it's truly what it is. Somebody who realizes that, that there's things greater than myself. Our team motto, TBM, team before myself. And it's really ingrained in me, your time throughout Loyola. Both of these Dons stand out in football, but even more stand out in life. And definitely, men for others.